welcome again to uh, part 2 of the uh, build of the Tarot uh, 650 frame with uh, some 490 kV motors and ECs and the Pixhawk 3D Robotics Pixhawk. I just mounted um, the one of the uh, landing struts on the landing gear um, to the frame and I must say it, it's actually a bit tricky so I'm just going to show you how I done it on the on the other landing gear here. Um, I don't know if you can see it but there's a small screw right here. Um, remove that, you can do that just by hand. Um, but you might, you should actually, go ahead and get one of these tiny hex uh, well, screwdrivers, I don't know what they are, actually are because this one is mounted in a 45 degree angle there's a small hole there, I don't know if you can see that well, it's a small hole and that's in a 45 degree angle and you should uh, get that in a 90 degree angle so it, the hole points the same way in, as this so it points up that way, okay? and there's two small screws here on the side um, just go ahead and loosen them um, loosen them up not too much, just a little bit, so so you can uh, move this in the middle around. So just so you can move this around, just make sure it's, it's just roughly a 90 degree angle, so it points up right there. Don't tighten these screws yet because they might want to move ahead around when you when you mount the big screws. Okay. That's it uh, for that one. We, then we just turn the frame around here. Uh, just make sure the camera can see it. Like that instead. And um, it's a s small um, orange bar thingy like uh, with uh, the screws to go in here. And you can see that it goes around in there. So just um, almost uh, make them poke out uh, at the bottom. Not too much because we're going to raise this up. I'm just going to see if you can see that camera can see. Yes, it can. And place them roughly. Oh, damn it. Place them roughly. Oh, come on. Just like that. Place them roughly above the. Uh, the screw holes and you will catch them eventually just like that just screw a little bit with the hands and then just take the, the normal sized hex yeah not the normal size but the hex screw you, you used before and uh, just you know drive them down a little bit not too much but just a couple of millimeters down um, it makes the mounting process a bit more easy. Um, so just a couple of millimeters down, the other one as well. So when they're, they don't have to be the same height at all, just when they're down, a bit down, um, just like that. You can see they just poke out a little bit here in the bottom and that's just fine because you're going to take this one um, that comes in the box and you're going to place it just in those screws right there. Okay? Oh, my hand's in the way. Just like that. And when you've done that, you grab this one and you mount it just like that as you can see right here but you're just gonna force it in just like that okay when you've done that the easiest part would just be to to just um, screw these down a bit more so they reach down into this one so you you're sure that it stays where it is uh, because the tricky part comes up next So when these two are screwed just well, a little bit down so they reach down into this block right here, you're going to um, turn it around because, you see that screw you dismounted before, 
this small one here and if you dismount it right here from that one that should go into that block again just on the other side and this is what gets tricky because this is just there's a small hole right here right under there um, the, the uh, what, what is it called the uh, aluminum part here um, and on the top side here there's a hole just above it as you can see here that's going down to the aluminium block um, so I'm gonna do the same thing as we did with this one we're gonna go from the, the other side in and mount the screw and screw it in okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here from this side and then from the underside, um, I don't know if I can show this, I'll try, but tr here um, the, the um, hex comes out, okay, the hex screwdriver comes out, and you're going to mount, if you can, this takes a bit of a practice, but you're going to mount the screw on that, which is a bit tricky. But eventually you'll get it. And when you do, it's very important that you, the hex screwdriver, you, you push it in this way. So the screw is roughly in the middle there. And then when you've done that, you turn it around and keep pushing to the inside. Um, just like that. Turn it around like that. And you are gonna go in from the underside here. I don't know if you can see it, I'm not sure I can get an, a proper angle on this, but just like that. I don't know if you can see it right here, um, but in there the screw is, is in, um, so I'm just going to screw it on. That is the easiest way, but it is a, a bit tricky, and if you haven't done it before, it's going to take some practice. So when I screw it in, just tighten it up and loosen it. Now. You might remember we loosened these screws to just turn this. Just tighten those screws again and you're all set to go. So when you've done that, um, we're going to mount the struts that go uh, horizontally uh, just to make them, it actually land, okay? Okay, so now we're going to, uh, we've just mounted these two uh, landing struts and we're going to uh, mount the horizontal yes horizontal um, struts uh, for it to land on and uh, you need this T adapter here and you need this long one there's this two uh, two of them um, you need a long one um, because there's, there's a small one there's a long one the, the small ones is for the undercarriage uh, to mount an event, event uh, and a gimbal for example um, so the best way to do this is um, by, whoops, by putting this in in here and when you've it should be it should be pretty pretty tight um, around it and you should measure 12.25 um, centimeters on each side and if you don't know what that is in inches there's plenty of calculators online um, to, to do that for you uh, to convert it so when it measures 12.25 at least in that area, which it does now. Um, you should take one of those small, small screws. I don't know if you can see that, but one of those small screws that comes with it, and um, you should get your small hex driver. Uh, mount that, mount that on like that, and press real hard against against the plastic and see if you can uh, mount it in there so as you can see there just um, screw this a while because they mounted it so far up so it, it just touches it barely touches the top of the uh, spar right here so it, you need to screw a lot okay so when you've done that uh, mounted that screw um, you should um, grab um, one of those um, rubbery things right there and uh, put them on the ends so when you've mounted those two 
to see if it fits. It does. You can just for fun. And um, there's two of these small screws left. Um, and you're going to mount them, of course, on either side of this um, when you have mounted it on. But it's easier to just to just screw the screws in just to just screw the screws in just to the uh, edge of this um, round thing right here. And we've done that, mount it, and then just tighten it up. So when you get those uh, screws in, just um, mount it on it and uh, just tighten it a, a tiny bit up. Because when you turn it around, you'll probably find that it is not stable like this. So uh, you should turn these um, until an angle where it is perfectly stable and then tighten them up, tighten them up, okay? So uh, this is, this, this is um, part two, um, and well of course tighten these up as well. So this is part two and um, thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Please subscribe so you can uh, see when the next videos are up, okay? So uh, yeah, thank you for watching. The next videos will be uh, mounting some electronics and uh, probably testing out the motor mounts and uh, some, some of those. So uh, thank you for watching. Bye.